Hey, in this video, in this mini vlog, we're gonna look at Credence Clearwater Revival's song, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Okay, so the first step is to look up the chords, to figure out the chords in this song, but we're gonna go beyond that, but first we have to know what the chords are. So, I'm gonna Google that, and the hit is gonna be Ultimate Guitar. So I type in CCR, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? And I get a version that has over 12,000 votes. Version one has over 12,000 votes, That's probably by far the best one. So we're gonna check it out to see what these chords are and see if they match the actual song. It sounds like it's right. 12,000 12, people can't be wrong. Um, we're going to see if it's actually the key. So we're going to listen to the actual song to see if... Because a lot of times on Ultimate Guitar, they'll tell you the wrong key for some reason. <laughs> even though 12,000 people looked at it. So we're going to confirm that it's really in the key of C. So CCR recently, in the last couple of years, did a, like a remake official release of this song. And so it has this modern like storytelling thing. So it has like the long intro the cinematic intro that you have to kind of like wait, <laughs> just kind of endure <laughs> to get to the actual song. Oh yeah. Okay, it's in the key of C, so now let's really just look at all of the chords that are listed to make sure that the chord progression on the website is correct, and then we're going to go into why we're using these chords, but let's figure out the chords first. So that C, so it's playing a C major, and then you go down to a C with a B in the bass. So it's just a C and then drop down to that B, and then A. So you could hit that A minor with a G in the bottom, or just go up to a G. See if there's anything more. It's basically the verse again, chorus again, chorus. Okay, so we know the main parts. So all of those chords are correct. Now let's figure out a little more about why we're using these chords. After you get a feel for 
playing certain chords, start getting a feel for how they function and what they are within a given key. But let's go through the exercise of figuring out the mode and where all these chords fit within a given key. You can already kind of tell right away that this is in the key of C. One, because the website says the key of C, but you can hear it. So it's coming down on a sunny day. When it comes and resolves to C, you could say coming down on a sunny day. Like it, that's not right. It has to be So key of C is what we're working with. So let's pick that apart in the modes table. In the key of C, we're gonna just write the C major scale up here to get our bearings. So we've got C in the one position, C is one, D, E, F is four, oh, uh, G, fortunately G kinda looks like a five, <laughs> and then um, G, A, B, and then C again. So let's write down the chords in this song we've got C major, and then um, uh, C, D, E, F, we have F major, and G major, and then A minor. And that's pretty much what it is. Um, we've got some chords that have a root note, like C with the base of B, or A minor with the base of G but really those are the four chords. So let's figure out the mode here. C major is a major one, so that means we're working with, uh, there's a major one in the Ionian, there's a major one in Lydian, there's a major one in Mixolydian, so, so far it could be in any of those three modes. F major is a major four, so it could be in Ionian, could be in Dorian, and it could be in Mixolydian. So, so far, Ionian and Mixolydian have both major one and major four. Then the G major chord is a major five. And so it's uh, either Ionian or Lydian. We already ruled out Lydian on the first round though, or on the, on the second chord. So, so far we're, it's looking like it's an C Ionian. To confirm, let's look at the sixth chord, which is in the Ionian mode. Minor six is also in Lydian, and it's actually also in Mixolydian. But of the three modes we're looking at here, Ionian has all four chords, the major one, major four, major five, and minor six. So it's in C Ionian. Playing it on the guitar is one thing, but we are not one trick ponies. We're gonna pick it out on the piano too, because that helps flush it out. And then you can either play both instruments, which is super easy to do once you learn the chords, or you can play along with friends. So uh, let's pick it out here. So we've got I actually don't know the lyrics, so I'm going to print out this song so I can refer to the lyrics, and uh, then we'll jump back in. just the verse that would get, I mean it's two chords so it's it's okay but it's not amazing but then the verse kicks in and it's like this harmonic progression it's suddenly like you're like along for the ride and, and you can't stop so it's and then it's this cool so it's this cool um, step motion down through the C major the key of C so it's a uh, that chord progression in the chorus. Okay, so within the key of C, 
C is the tonic. So we keep resolving back to the tonic. Tonic's kind of the home base. We start at the tonic, move away from the tonic uh, when we move up to that G, and then back to the tonic. And then we go to the subdominant, which is the F in the chorus. So it's, uh, what do we got here? So the subdominant to the dominant, and then back to the tonic, but only briefly. Um, so it's, we're still kind of at the tonic, but then go down to that B. The motion goes down to the A minor, which is the relative minor of the tonic. So it's like we're kind of back at the tonic, but not really. And then with that G, that's that uh, note of tension, and it really wants to resolve uh, to C, but it goes back to F. Which F has a C, but it's not fully resolved because we really want to get back to that C major chord, so it's. It's a beautiful chord progression, pretty simple to play once you get a feel for it, though why are we moving between these chords? Kind of got at it a little bit a moment ago, but now we're going to diagram it out and really see what this chord progression looks like within harmonic space. After some nerding out, I have diagrammed out how these chord progressions flow through harmonic space, and there's basically three chord progressions. You've got the intro, the verse, and the chorus. In the intro, and it's all within the key of C, C Ionian. So you go from the relative minor, the minor 6, A minor, to F, down to C, up to G again, and then back to C. That's the intro. Verse is super simple. It's just back and forth between the C, the tonic, to its dominant, the major 5, G major, back to C. And then the chorus flows through the subdominant, F, to G, C, A minor, F, G, C, and so this nice smooth loop is why that progression sounds so good. So I'm gonna do a song insight on this. This is the mini vlog of Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR. So definitely check out the song insight where I'm gonna go into some more detail about what makes the song tick. But as far as this mini vlog goes, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one.